All right, hello, wine drinking people. Back with more of what I drank yesterday with uh, Erica from Gems. And I've been a big fan of this Gems portfolio from day one. And uh, the first wine, the pairings from Honada, you know, I don't like the fact that they don't put the varietals on the label. And I guess they say, well, we change it every year or so. But still, the consumers want to know what they're drinking. It makes it easier for us retailers to sell things to. The more information I can give my clients, the better it is for them. All right, well, this is a, a new property from um, uh, the Santa Inez Valley, which uh, the folks from Screaming Eagle have uh, started have developed, and Honada has been getting some great praise from Robert Parker Jr. and other critics. And uh, these are their entry-level wines, the pairings label. And uh, this is just called a white wine from California. And it's a blend of Sauvignon Blanc Semillon with a bit of Viognier this year, making it a little different from the last blend. Has some lovely light floral aromas on the nose, hints of light smoke, melon and pear fruits, a little lychee kind of thrown in there as well, and a good amount of ripe fruit on the tongue, and a little bit of that perfuming, perfuming floral nuance that you get from Viognier, showing a bit of heat coming in at the end there too. But uh, pretty nicely balanced for a wine at 15 plus percent alcohol. We say those wines are much more effective. All right, very good stuff at 21 bucks. Dutton Goldfield Chardonnay from the Dutton Ranch uh, Vineyard. This is a family that farms 60 different vineyards in Russian River. And this wine, it's a blend of four different vineyards in the Russian River. Uh, Mill Station, Laurel Eye Lane, Ruid, Ruid, Walker Hill, and JJJS. All right, well, it's got a lovely toasty nuance to the nose with notes of fresh buttery toast, butterscotch, into that tropical fruit, apple, candied lemon, a good amount of ripe tropical fruit on the palate, really rich, and notes of toasty oak and some nice minerality, keeping things fresh on the finish. Excellent Chardonnay, $37.50 from Dutton Goldfield. All right, the Loring Pinot Noir Kagasaki Vineyard from the Santa Rita Hills. We just like to say that vineyard name. All right, this wine's got a lovely... Pretty bouquet there, fresh flowers, exotic oriental spices, and a good amount of black raspberry and black cherry fruit. Very aromatic on the nose, very California. Big and chewy style of Pinot Noir with lots of jammy black cherry black raspberry fruit, but still has nice zesty acidity and this lovely floral and exotic spice coming in on the finish. Excellent Kargasaki. All right, the Loring Pinot Noir Kiefer Ranch from the Green Valley, from Sonoma, from the Russian River Valley. Uh, this wine's got a good bit of earth here on the nose, uh, kind of black olive maybe hint as well, and dark spices, but dark and rich blackberry fruit, man, almost sun-dried character to that black cherry and black raspberry coulisse-like fruit on the nose. Rich and decadent fruit on the tongue, almost liqueur-like in concentration, depth of flavors, really dark spices, a bit hot, but this wine still has got good freshness, freshness as well. This is a Cabernet Drinker's Pinot Noir, man. Excellent if you like that type of thing at $48.75. All right, next up we have Austin with Petite Toot Vins.